I recently got my hands on this new Nios floating fish trap and while I've always been eyeing this product, uh, I wanted to try it in action. Couldn't think of a better way to do it than to catch a couple of fish and introduce them into this aquarium behind me. So let's dive right in. So the aquarium you see behind me is my newly established water box system. As you can see, it's uh, SPS dominated and it's a uh, full stock of corals that I've all aquaculture myself. However, uh, I've introduced a few tanks into the system. There is the white tail bristle uh, tooth, there is uh, a tiny clown tank, and obviously that's just not enough. This is a fairly high nutrient system. Um, I'm using a lot of light and you can already see that there's tons of algae that's covered all of the rock. So whatever those two guys should be doing is not enough. So I need to introduce a few more fish into this aquarium and uh, instead of right now going and buying more fish and going through a quarantine, I will try to um, use this product to catch them uh, in, from my uh, farm system and um, basically we'll go through the whole process of uh, unboxing uh, this product and um, seeing how to use it in action and how good it is. So I've um, used another kind of uh, old school fish trap before um, and it was alright but it's very bulky uh, the mechanism doesn't work very well. If you actually want to see it, you can go two or three videos back and you can see when I'm stalking this aquarium here, um, this is how I caught my uh, blue throat trigger from the same aquarium. So using this nice floating fish trap, um, I already have a few fish in mind. Um, as somebody who's been watching this channel for a few years knows my affection towards a powder blue tang. I have it in my other aquarium. But uh, for me, I don't think I'm ready to bite the bullet on the Achilles anytime soon. So um, powder blue is what I want to see in this aquarium. I also have a purple tank that uh, right now is housed with a yellow tank in my farm. Um, and a couple of times I already noticed that there was a little bit of aggression. So I've never really kept a purple tank up close, um, so I want to experience that and I thought that both of those fish make uh, great candidates for this water box system. So that's my goal. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to uh, achieve it using this product, but um, I thought it would be a lot of fun to try it out. So let's first start by opening this bad boy opening it up we've got some instructions probably with um, some sort of a QR code that shows the video of how to use it I'm not the one who prefers to watch any videos on or how to's until I get stuck so let's I think it should be pretty uh, obvious so we've got one half of a dome we've got a magnet right over here and then this is the second half of the dome and there's nothing else in the box. So I figure these two things go in. You've got the lock. I'm not sure yet about this white um, plasticky thingy right over here. Probably this is the entrance uh, for food. So, as, as a matter of fact, oh, so there's two of them. There's one on one side and it doesn't have a plug and then there is a little plug on the other one. So I'm thinking that this one always goes in and is just used to for the food not to come out. That's my guess. So let's keep it there. Uh, it's a little bit on the loose side of things. All right, so I'm figuring that Okay, now it's locked in and it's actually, now it's pretty tight. So I think this is just to hold uh, the food in place so that it doesn't fall out. And then you have the same hole at the top. 
really there's nothing else to it you've got your magnet Oop, that's pretty strong right over here so this part goes into the water you've got uh, glass this, this part is gonna go watch your fingers um, was, will go on the other side and then you can see there's a little uh, place to apply some sort of a tether some sort of a string so that when you are hiding in the corner of your aquarium your fish doesn't see you you wait for the fish to swim in there's you know I think the entrance actually is big enough for most of the fish I'm actually curious if uh, my putter uh, blue or um, purple tank are gonna fit in there so powder blue most likely yes purple tank I'm not sure if it's gonna fit I think this is about three uh, inches so let's actually find out so the entrance is just under or no, called it. It's exactly three inches long. So, as somebody who's watched a few of my previous videos uh, know, I already have calculated that three uh, inches is kind of a good size for um, many, many tanks um, if you don't include its uh, dorsal or uh, fins or anal fins. Having said that, let's um, actually put this thing to action i'm as curious about the results as probably you are we've got the trap set i will use a little bit of this fish food which i'm going to put inside through this little hole or i'm actually just gonna put it from the main uh, entrance right over here place it in and now we wait okay dry food doesn't appear to entice them as much so let's put something else in there just some frozen food So I've done a few tweaks. Um, I have repositioned the trap so that it's facing the camera. Um, this way, and I've blocked off one of the sides. So this way, actually, the fish are going in almost immediately. You can see that um, <laughs> one went in right away. So before that, I couldn't actually do that. And another thing that I've done is I've lifted it a little bit higher so that um, the floating uh, frozen food it doesn't come out from the top so this way it's actually working quite well and we just saw or we just witnessed the um, selfie tank going inside of uh, the trap you can see he's probably one of the biggest fish i have and uh, he had no problem squeezing through the hole so right now the file fish is going in Okay, now that we've learned how to position it, let's put another piece in and take a look at what happens next.
sure what's going on with the NAS NASA tank here. Is he stuck? Is he not smart enough to get out? I'm not sure. Buddy. Oh my god. I think he did get stuck somehow. Yep. I think uh, not this <laughs> not the smartest fish. Buddy, go. And now we have the yellow tang in. Still not the one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call this NASA tang Mr. Magoo, because he is ridiculous. Okay, let's actually see how it would work. If I'd pull it, and then boom, he's done. The fish is floating, and you can easily get him anywhere you want. So, oh, let's get him out. All right, we got ourselves the first fish. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like all the fish are now in the new aquarium. They have settled in. You can see there is uh, not a lot of aggression, um, just a little bit of uh, dominance by uh, the purple tang, which is to be expected. But I've been running it like this for a couple of days and they seem to get along quite nicely. I think having them in another aquarium, or some of them, has helped as well because they're more familiar. That clown tank that you can see in the right corner, he seems to be uh, no longer super boisterous because you've got a lot bigger fish in there, but everybody's uh, going after the rocks and I'm curious what the tank is going to look like in a week or two when they have had a chance to um, clean it. So I have no idea where my royal grandma went because I think I've introduced it but it's not there. But what we see uh, in this aquarium right now, we see the powder blue, we see that orange shoulder um, tank which is just gorgeous, the purple tank and you can also see the flame angel, the red one, and uh, the white tail bristle tooth, as well as the clown tank. Plus I have a, a ras, which is a melanurus ras, and um, a file fish, just to look after any aptasia, if I ever see any. It has been a while. So there you have it with um, the stocking of my aquarium so far well there you have it using this handy trap we were able to catch a powder blue tank in one aquarium and then move it successfully over to the aquarium behind me and now i'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this particular fish trap model first make sure that you have a lot of time on your hands. So that really applies to most of the traps out there uh, because the fish first are going to be spooked uh, by any new foreign object. It's going to take a while for them to um, figure out that the food is in there, that they're going to actually be comfortable going in. There's probably going to be first the other fish that you don't want uh, that are going to be going in there which was the case for me. And one way to work around it is to catch uh, the fish that goes in there first, even if the, not the one that you want, and then you can put it in a bucket for a few hours and then catch the fish that you want. But you're taking a gamble here because maybe the fish that you're looking at, um, to catch is super shy. And then if that is the case, then it's gonna be a while until, if ever, it's gonna go in. And that's, I think, the number one issue. Um, like I said, it really applies to most of the traps out there. Um, for my other two fish, it was actually faster for me to just stop the water in the tank, get all the frags out because they were on the racks, and then catch the fish. It was messy. It took about 20 minutes and then I was done. 
where else probably with the fish trap like this I would have used uh, several days of uh, just monitoring and checking and whatnot so but if you have lots of rock work you, that not is not going to be an option for you like I wouldn't be uh, doing this in this aquarium here so here I would definitely be using a fish trap second um, make sure that you use a strong line uh, when you attach it to uh, this um, handle because for me at first I used a fairly thin line and this is a very strong magnet and actually the line broke on me um, so uh, use something that is strong secondly or thirdly um, I see that there is a, a block for the food not to come out at this end but there is no such thing coming on the other side for me this was a problem because if you have flow in your tank and you don't want to change that the food is going to start coming out from the top or um, even with the uh, flow uh, this entrance is quite wide so and the device is fairly small so the food may actually be coming out from the front as well so bring down your flow um, and you can either lift your uh, trap a little bit higher so that the food is uh, not coming out from the top because there's a uh, surface area um, but um, I think it would have been handy if there would have been a second one of those um, kind of plasticky blockers to go on the other end now the size of this thing is actually adequate uh, when you look at it it looks fairly small however We've seen that even the biggest fish I had there, the cellophane, fan, uh, cellophane tang, was going in no problem. Um, also, funny enough, the device uh, or design of this uh, may be confusing for some of the other fish. So my Nassau tang was not able to get out from um, this trap. So I had to actually nudge it. What I love about this is that the mechanism itself is ingenious. So the moment you pull it, this thing catches the fish, guaranteed, and very safely lifts it to the surface. And then you can float like this for a while until you come in, you pick it up and put it in a bucket. And you're not touching the fish, so this is great. So I really like, uh, like this particular feature of uh, this device. Well, there you have it. You've seen this nice fish trap in action. And uh, let me know in the comments below how it worked out for you. I'm really curious to see if I've missed anything or uh, there's even a better way to use it.